Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. So I've just been at the gym this morning. It is now onto the final week of that eight week challenge I'm doing. So I've been really pushing myself doing six classes a week at the moment, which is kind of not sustainable, but it's fine for that short period of time. So this morning's run was a really sweaty cardio session and I've just now washed my hair, which is feeling really nice and clean. And I made a beautiful shakshuka baked eggs thing for breakfast for Jazz and I. And now I'm actually going to make a new chest of drawers for my bedroom because I had one previously just before I moved and it was really, really bad quality. It was annoying me a lot because the drawers would constantly get stuck and my things just didn't really fit in there because it wasn't big enough. So I've gone ahead and got a beautiful new one and I'm going to put that together now. This is the one I bought. It's from a brand called Lifely and it's the Arch 3 chest of drawers. I thought that would look really cute in my bedroom and it's nice and plain white as well. These are the two massive boxes it came in. So I'm gonna do my best. Hopefully it doesn't take too long and I'll be putting that all together. Take it away, take it away. Feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I need to go ahead and take all of the rubbish down because that is making a huge mess. But basically I emptied the other cabinet. So this is a complete and utter mess at the moment, but I'm thinking I would actually like to move the desk across here and then put that chest of drawers over on that side. So I'll keep you guys posted when I make a decision, but I'm pretty sure that would work a little bit better for me what a marathon this piece of furniture was but i am absolutely in love with it i think it looks really really cute but i do have to tell you that i had a little bit of a mental breakdown when i was making it and i ended up hiring an air tasker to come around and help me do a couple of the pieces because it was just not going to happen in the speed of time that this guy was able to do it so definitely recommend that if you're ever struggling because yeah i just really needed an extra set of hands so that one's all done now and i'm gonna go and put it in my bedroom okay that is all in now and so much better really really happy to finally have a chest of drawers that can actually fit all of my things in it so i'm going to do a bit of a desk makeover with all of that to clean up that area but for now i can finally put all of these bags of clothes and things away I also just got a new smartwatch, so I'm trying to install a different kind of watch face on it, but having a little bit of trouble and it's finally just worked. I think that looks so cool. And this one is called Rise. I'm going to have a little post about it on my Instagram, but essentially it's the same as like an Apple watch to just track all of your fitness data. It can track sleep, get call notifications, all that kind of stuff. So mine is in a really pretty rose gold and pink color. holiday season has almost arrived I have got myself some gingerbread houses from this gorgeous company called gingerbread folk and this one is the gingerbread house kit they also have gluten free if you have any allergies which is perfect for my sister who is gluten free there's also some vegan and gluten free lollies to decorate with and this one up the back is a chocolate gingerbread house which Oh my God, if you know me, I absolutely love chocolate. And there are some really cute little gingerbread mini folk and trees to decorate with as well. So I am definitely going to go down to my storage cage today and get out my Christmas decorations. And I think we'll actually do it. It's finally time to decorate up for the holiday season. And I'm going to build one of these in the next vlog as well. It's a bit later now and I do look like a little bit of a mess because I've been creating content all day. So if you guys follow me over on Instagram, you would know I do a lot of UGC sort of stuff as well. And the good thing about that is when I've been talking about wanting to just work four days a week and then one day a week for myself, I've now gotten to that kind of tipping point where I definitely do need to do that. So that's really exciting because I'm going to try and have that conversation with my boss next week and we can kind of figure out how that's going to work in the long run but it's really exciting because it just gives me that little bit of flexibility and it means that I kind of have my whole other creative outlet of creating videos and making more content for YouTube as well because I've kind of been doing a lot of that 
either after hours or my lunch breaks or on the weekends and I do really want to make sure I'm giving myself some downtime to relax as well so fingers crossed that all goes well but I'll be able to update you soon and we'll see how we go. This is my Instagram as well, in case any of you guys don't follow me over there, but it's just Emma Caitlin as well. And this is some of the stuff I've put up today. I've got the breakfast that I made earlier. I put up a reel for a beautiful jewelry brand called Oak and Merchant, which is really fun. I kind of enjoy making a lot of those sort of short form content videos. I did another post for the watch that I showed you guys earlier, just featuring that. So couple of little photos for that as well. I had another reel that I've done for a skincare brand called Apelli's, which is really beautiful kind of native botanical Australian stuff. And I love making these kind of ones too. I think it's fun kind of clipping all the little bits and pieces together to kind of give you that sort of at home experience. And the last one I made today was this one for a hair care brand. And I've been meaning to make this for a long time, but I've just been so busy. And it's just one of those things that I was really putting off but I'm glad that I finally got it done and I think they were really happy with it as well. Something I am going to jump in and keep working on for the rest of my afternoon is my Endeavor short course. So they do actually have 50% off all short courses as part of their Black Friday sale. So it is literally the perfect time to get in and sign up if you've got a couple of little things you've been wanting to learn or try, but the code is just on their website. You don't need anything special to access it, but I will leave a link in the description box down below as well and there are so many different things that you can look at there is natural health there is businesses there's gut health wellness in the workplace there's so many different things and I'll show you the one that I'm currently taking so this is what the back end looks like I am doing the eco living natural choices for a green lifestyle course which is very me so there's all different bits and pieces so there's the welcome video and the introduction so like the onboarding with your goal setting and then there are all different modules that you go ahead and look at so this one has how can I make a difference some sustainable living sustainable food natural skincare low tox cleaning and greening with your home and community so there is also options for ongoing like you can create an action plan for how you will put everything you've learned into practice and also some goal reflection as well. I honestly cannot recommend these Endeavor short courses enough. I've just been learning so much from this one and it's been really, really enjoyable. It just kind of gives me a little bit of a different option if I'm going to a cafe or wanting some downtime. And instead of kind of reading a book, I can do some learning outcomes through an online course instead. So I just really love this. I think it's really interactive and there were so many fantastic options. So definitely grab yourself a deal with that 50% off Black Friday sale. And I will leave the details in the description box down below. I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. It is a Saturday night and we are having a pretty relaxed weekend because we're actually going away next weekend to the Grampians. So I'm going to be able to bring you guys along in a little vlog for that as well, because I'm staying at the most incredible location. So that'll be very, very exciting. But yeah, it's been really nice spending the day with you guys. I hope you enjoyed my little reshuffle of my bedroom and just doing a couple little things around home. Tonight, we're going to head out to the movies and see the new Wakanda Forever one, which is the second movie of of Black Panther so hopefully it's good it does have some really good reviews and that's all from me so enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you in the next video bye